Transformers Age of Extinction. I can't believe we're at this one. Fuck this movie. But here we are. So this one is a little bit different than the last movie. Um, that was the last one with Shia LaBeouf. And this one is Mark Wahlberg. And it's not good. It's probably the worst of all the Transformers movies. Maybe not Maybe not the worst. Because it's hard to really compare the two. Because two... Well, I guess two short of two. No, fuck. This is the worst one. Sorry. This one is just the absolute worst Transformers movie. Uh, this is a Transformers movie about some stuff. And it's ridiculously long. For, like, no fucking reason. I'm sorry. I just, I hate to immediately get so negative. But this movie is two hours and 45 minutes long. Why is this movie almost three hours? It doesn't need to be. Uh, there's no excuse for it. It is just unbelievably long and just drawn out and boring. See, it's weird. This whole movie, they do the shit that I've been complaining about the, all these movies where you wait for the humans to disappear and then the Transformers to come on screen, right? They do that. You wait for this to happen. You wait for it to happen. You wait for it to happen. And then there's just not enough of it when it does happen. But this one's worse because when, they actually give you more Transformers in this movie. Not a lot. There's still unnecessarily a lot of human stuff. But Mark Wahlberg, like in this movie, for example, is like not worried about his girlfriend. There's still an unnecessarily gross ro romance pl plot with T.J. Miller's uh character that I don't even want to get into because it's just gross and then you got this annoying character that screams the whole time during this movie but what bugs me about this movie is like how long it is and then you get to like the end of the movie and you're just like okay you waited like two hours to see the Transformers and you get at least a solid 45 minutes to almost an hour of the Transformers and Optimus Prime is riding this dinosaur and it's all cool but you're just like so exhausted up until that point because the rest of this movie was bullshit with every piece of writing, humor, character, whatever. And it was just awful. And so you just don't even care when the Transformers are doing stuff. That's the thing about all these superhero movies. Imagine if the Avengers hadn't been a fun, entertaining movie. And then you just got to that shot of them like in a circle together. It would not have been as good. Because the movie was entertaining and fun to watch before that. And that's why that moment is awesome. Because you're like, yes, they finally assembled. You know, you were waiting for that to happen. Because that was a fun moment. And the movie was fun. And it was a good movie. I like the Avengers movie. I don't like this movie. Fuck this movie. Get it out of my face. That's that's my official score. Get it out of my face. Yeah, uh, we'll be talking about Transformers last night, and then we'll finally be done with the Michael Bay ones, and we can talk about Bumblebee, which I think, you know, will be more enjoyable to at least watch than the other two. I, I'm not a big fan of Bumblebee, but we'll have some, at least a conversation about it, instead of just me being annoyed and pissed off about these ones.